section, we're going to show you a winch rig. This is a standard run of the mill live bait poly ball rig. Running ledger, made a little bit longer so it doesn't get jammed in the weed. 30 pound a line hook, and a couple of poppers. I use a braided line because when live baiting it's an awful lot easier to uh, fill the bait. And in Simon's hand, he has a old section of tip section of a rod and a little stem with a poly ball on it. And with this, we join the two together. And the idea of this rig is to get a live bait out at a reasonable range um, without doing it any harm. And just to make sure that stays on there, the one prepared earlier, small piece of band. And the idea of this is, I'm going to cast both of these out with the aid of my gorgeous assistant. And when this lands, the lead will stay where it is. And I can release the bail arm on this rod, thus bringing the rig back to the bank. We can bait it and take it straight back out without causing the bait any harm. So when we cast, obviously the lead will land in the lake. The point ledge will hold the main line up out of any weed or whatever and get with a twist. So this will obviously pivot. It's like a, well, it's a winch. Um, and this will, this, the rig will all come back to the bank when Simon reels it all back. I'll let the bail arm off, the line will run back, we can bait the hook and then get the bait back out to where the lead initially landed. A lot easier to show than it is to And explain. a lot easier to show than what it is to explain. <laughs> right, just check this. All winched out, ready. Yep, bands on, great. Right, assume the positions. Okay. Right, you can start pulling now, Simon. It okay. should uh, come along a tree. I'm keeping the line out to my left, which is going to hopefully save from any tangles on the line that's coming back in far to my right. Also, when you're casting, feathering the line is very important because it makes everything drop behind the lead, which keeps it above it so it doesn't tangle on entry of the water. An important point from the retrieve on this winch rod is to keep it smooth so you're not bumping the lead back. And also, always use something around four to five ounces. And uh, if you're fishing on a sandy bottom lake, some kind of grip lead as well, isn't it? also helps an awful lot. Just keep the winch rod to the side just to avoid the lines tangling because it twisting is the biggest problem and you end up reeling the whole lead work. back in which is avoiding. It's working lovely that is. Missing the point, there you go. There we go. So we now have, put it off of there, one redundant winch rod, rod in my right hand, rig in the left. We can pop a bait on that now. If I just chuck this in, would you want to place yeah, it for I'll me? Yeah, I'll take that in. The bait's in the water there, and I'll just nice and easily work that back out to where the lead landed. Particularly useful if you've got uh, a wee bed in between you and where you're aiming to fish, or you're fishing over weed, poly balls on the top will just keep that bait right at the surface. You can only use this rig where you're using a buoyant end trace, so either a dumbbell rig or a poly ball rig like this that really keeps it nailed to the surface. Otherwise, if you're using that, something that hasn't got the buoyancy, then they've got a chance of catching up on the way back out. Another advantage is, especially with a lake like this one, you can fish nice and close to the tree line where the cats are going to hide and you're not continuously casting baits and as we all do cast them into trees so this time with this method you can always get them in spot on position absolutely every time and there's the bait there and if i that's going to come down just onto the lead now so there we go that's up on the lead 
there's the lead. So I'll let that pop back just to make sure we're all running nice and free. We'll just let the bait up, let the poly balls bring that up to the surface in the uh, way you'd fish a surface bait. And there you go, that's a perfect way of getting a live bait out. 60, 70 yards? Mm.